owe you bitches shit. Residential date date, 18 care plain Jane. Reminiscing times the Mills was missing having heart. Yo, man, it's your boy Lakee to back at it with a fucking banger, man. Man, I got some amazing news for you niggas, man. For all my CTRM holders, man, make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and let's keep the family reunited, man, because you about to take this company to the promised land. And by the promised land, I mean $1 target, you heard me? <laughs> but for real, though, man, this is an am amazing company, too. You know what I'm saying? Now they probably got like 16 boats and they started with six. Back in the grip, like five months ago, they started with six. Now they got 16, bro. For sure, man. Now I know the reason they had this 124, you know, share offering, basically. Now I know the reason because they had to get that share offering so they can make the business grow. So you can see customary time was up. I mean, it was down today. I'm going to... I'm a, first let's look at the one week. The one week was down 10% from 59, it crashed to 46. And that's when I got a good entry point as well. Loaded up more shares. One month ago, they're down 51%. Holy fuck. From one dollar all the way down to 50. Three months ago they were up 150%. You know what I'm saying? So still up a lot. It's still up a lot of money right there. From 12 cents. I wish I would have got this stock right here at 12 cents, man. No cap. Look at this. And then just blast off to the promised land. Five years ago, it was on the top. Dog. But yeah, man. So the reason you see this spike right here from Caster. So basically, when the market opened, boom. It just went and took off to the 55 range. And then it came back down. I think it tested on... There was a resistance right there that it tested and it couldn't hit and it came back down. You know the shorts, shorts, they short all this bit down and it came back down again. And if this shit dropped before 45 again, man, you know what I'm going to do. I don't panic. I pounce. I'm going to load up the boat. I'm going to get another 2K shares, man. And ride this shit to the promised land, man, because I know it has to go back to the $1 mark before June or May. And I'm just going to make a couple, like, you know, 10K from this shit on the run up. To the dollar mark And yeah man That's our price target man The volume is very sexy today We surpassed the average volume like always You know that's how we coming over here and cast them And they got some good ass news too Let's get to it Alright we're here in the news man Yahoo Finance man that's how we coming So look the reason we had that little spike Of three pennies Which is shit We should have gotten a bigger spike to like 60 cents man Come on it's bullshit but look, let's get to it. Cast the Maritime announces a vessel acquisition, man. So basically, that th I think that's the reason they did the 124 million um, share offering so they could get, get a new boat and see if they could boost the price up a little more because everybody's super bullish on this stock. No debt, a lot of money in the hand. So look, let's keep it popping. Cast the Maritime, you know what I'm saying? A global shipping company announced it's entered through a separate. So basically, okay, okay, I see now. They have an agreement to purchase a 2011 Japanese boat, a dry boat carrier from, you know, a third party purchase price at 18.48 million. So basically they had, um, they had an agreement to purchase 18.4. Okay. So basically they still haven't acquired it. They just have an agreement. You know what I'm saying? The acquisition is expected to be, you know. So to make it simple for y'all, the vessel, it will like it will start working within the second quarter of this year. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really tell us too much info about that. And it says right here, we're able to please, we are pleased to announce our ninth vessel acquisition in 2021. Another pandemic dry boat cast to fleet. I could have sworn they had 16 boats though, but. Hey man, our focus remained deploying a capital growing fleet. Damn, our ninth could have sworn they had more. Oh, they do have more. I'm tripping. I don't know why I said the ninth. Okay, on a fully delivered basis, Caster will have a 15 fleet vessels. So basically, have 15 boats now. You know what I'm saying? So you know, capacity of 1.4 million. 
and basically this company is very diversified they have a lot of sugars they, they come with sugars you know um metals that you can't really find that a lot of that's why the chip shortage is really going on because cast them every time be carrying those big ass chips that people need for the computers and shit like that and it also fully develop um deliver basis you know what i'm saying refreshing such as information you know what i'm saying planning tools and shit like that you know what i'm saying yahoo financing and this right here all of this shit is just giving information of what happened back in the grip a couple years ago man as you can see man Castor maritime announces japanese 18.48 mil you know what I'm saying? Let's see what let's see what this other news came out, what it really means. And I'm sorry of the delay of the video, man. I've been working like crazy, man. I gotta do double shifts now on my job. Cause my little partner said taking a vacation and shit like that. You heard me? But look, let's see if we can get some information right here. Thinking about buying stocks in customary time. Let me see. Let me see what I could get out of this. See the link this should take me. Yep. Can't even look at that. It's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So let's read the comments, see, because my price target is one for the homies. You know what I'm saying? Price target is one. Let's draw some lines real quick. Boom. One on the top. That's 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 our first support right there. I mean, our first resistance. Our first support right here. That's our second support. And then boom. This is the five minute, by the way. Pulling right there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit you gotta break in order for this this you know in order for cast to really do what he gotta do, you hear me? Put one right there. So basically what I see this stock doing is this. Let me see if I could show you how I want to. Boom. So basically I think this is what's gonna happen Monday. It's gonna come right here. Remember, cast it right now is fifty one cents after I was come right here, boom, test that support. And then boom, pull up right here one time, bounce, go up right here, and then you know. Let me see if I could just get this shit right correctly for y'all. And then you know, just zigzag around here, boom, 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 boom. And then test that, calm down one time. Oh, let me see if I can make it easier for y'all. Test that, so test that resistance, calm down one time, boom. Okay, came down. Let me stretch a little bit. Come, came down, rejected the support. I mean, the resistance, and then broke that shit with hella volume to the uptrend to the 55 mark, and then going beyond. You know, that's what I think is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep y'all niggas posted and see what's really chopping with that shit, man. For sure. I'm gonna see what's really chopping with that shit, man. I'm gonna keep this shit right here. So y'all know I ain't capping when I say this shit. Cause I was never a capper, man. For sure. I was never a capper. This is what I see basically. You know what I'm saying? But charts don't show everything, man. This is just what I see. You know what I'm saying? Touch the support first to bounce to the resistance. And then, you know. Yeah, man. So let's look at the inflow today. See what's chopping with that. You know, the inflow was very, 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 very good. You know, the large is 4.81 and the large on the right on the outflow is 4.71. So that's a good indication right there. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at what the, what the analysts, let me see, they got a price target. So, okay. So now, as you can see, um, 14.29 people are making some type of profit right now. You know what I'm saying? From my last video, 0.00. .00 was make no basically nobody was making profit from this company right here man and now some people are making profit i'm in that area i'm up 150 right now you heard me i'm in that area man for sure for sure but yeah man let's see what the comments are saying see everybody down and shit let me see yeah old news the comments ain't really saying much man the margin call time Haha, <laughs> I said 60k. Join the run. Okay, this man talking about Bitcoin. How to be a short and get others to sell their shares. Okay, is it not really happening in the comments right now, man? For sure. For sure, man. I'm trying to get some information for y'all and shit. The apes. Let me see. 14. 
Okay, some of these are already read. Okay. Now let's go on Reddit to see what my apes are saying. Alright, man. I'm gonna write it right now, man. It says right here, learn something new every day. So he basically highlighted this for us. The position in 2021, since Castor expanded their fleet, and investment co is another large investor. Investing fund run by himself now is favoring in your own company. So basically that information has given me nothing. That's all I gotta say. You know what I'm saying? Useless information. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Nothing interesting right now on CTRM. Till we got like another massive squeeze. Cause way too many shorts on this shit, man. For sure. Let's click right here on the CTRM. Reddit shit. You know what I'm saying? 16K members. You know what I'm saying? Diamond hand gang. For sure, man. That's how we coming out here. You know what I'm saying? People are extremely down on this shit too. You know what I'm saying? This man is up right now $7. When he's holding 1K shares. And he all he had to pay was 538 That's nothing, bro. You know, now imagine you had 10K shares. For sure, man. You would have been up a lot. You know what I'm saying? It would have been up a lot, man. We are CTM. We are not selling for a penny. Let's go to one. So, yeah, that's our price target. Our price target is $1. And I'm going to take profit on that, man. You know what I'm saying? I will hold it for a long period, but I feel like it will crash back again, even though it's a good company long term. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a good company long term. Shit like that, man. Let me see. Shorts are attacking. Stay strong and enjoy the weekend. I mean, of course the shorts will attack, man. That's what they do. Man, have one buy. I'm fucking weak. One buy, bro. 52 cents, man. That shit is hilarious. You know what I'm saying? I can't access the option on CTRM. Is that because it's $1 per share? Someone don't, don't care about $1 or something. Okay. Two shares, really? Some man really bought one share. This man really bought one share at 52 cents. Yo, that's crazy, bro. How you buy one share, bro? Only one share, dog? Only one share, dog? That's crazy. That's crazy. I have no words, man. With that being said, man, me looking at that shit, I feel like this man right here about to hit, hit with that wave. You heard me? But shit, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this man buying one share, man. Some crazy ass shit.